Hey, it's Chris. And Dylan. And in this video, we're gonna teach you a very easy meditation that you can do with your kids or you can do with your parents and it will help increase empathy as well as connection. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And first and foremost, I wanna give a big shout out to one of our new subscribers. Her name is Katie, she's 12, and she's interested in improving her mental health. So when she reached out to me, um, I wanted to start making more videos. Like I really, really need to make more videos for kids, for parents, and all that stuff. So what a better time than right now, all right? So Katie made a deal with me. She said she's gonna start meditating once a day, so I encourage all of you to do the same. And it's something that uh, Dylan and I do. Dylan's been doing it for a while. It's been a few years, right? Right. Right? Is it going kind of good? Yeah. All right, cool. So one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because as a society, we're very disconnected. And one of the issues is, and I, I'm very optimistic about this, but one of the issues is, it's very hard to teach old dogs new tricks. It's very hard for me to come to adults and say, hey, you should start meditating. So in this instance, like I truly believe, you know, that children are our future, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's important that we start teaching our kids how to be more connected in society. So when they grow up, maybe it's a little bit better than what we have right now. All right, so let me, let me do a proper introduction for this handsome young man right next to me, all right? So go, go ahead and tell him your name again. My name is Dylan, also known as Dilly from Dilly and Dad. And how old are you? Nine. Nine years old, wow. Okay, so Dylan, do me a favor, drop some knowledge on these people out there. What is mindfulness? Noticing what's happening right now. Bam. So without diving too far into the neuroscience of this thing, empathy is actually a skill that's trained. It comes from a part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex, which is pretty undeveloped, underdeveloped in children. So what we can do is we can actually use meditations to increase the ability and the skill to be more empathetic, connected, and compassionate. So this meditation is not only gonna help your child, but it's also gonna help you feel a little bit more connected, not only with each other, but also with people, whether it's at school or whether it's at work, but feel a little bit more connected with just the people on this beautiful planet we call Earth. So I first started doing this meditation with Dylan a while back, and it's technically called a loving kindness meditation. And we started doing it, and this is kind of the proof that it works. Um, for example, one day my mom was in town, and we went out to eat with her on the strip, and we were just walking through a casino, going to the place we were gonna eat, and a guy went past in a wheelchair, right? And Dylan turns and looked at me, he's like, Dad, I, I sent him some loving kindness thoughts. And I'm like, whoa snaps like this thing is working so just so you know like the more you do this the more ingrained it becomes like in our normal everyday habits we start thinking more about others so a few reasons why this is so beneficial especially for kids by practicing this meditation somewhat regularly it's going to help your kid deal with difficult children at school it's going to help your kid be a little bit more compassionate towards other children you know none of us want that kid who is known as the kid who doesn't share with others you know what i I mean, but it'll also help your child get over a little bit of their nervousness or even shyness and feel like it's okay to make new friends with other people that might not even be in their class. The reason why connection is so important is because when we're connected, all right, someone else's pain is also our pain. But the good news is, is that someone else's joy is also our joy, all right? So you ready to get started? Yep. All right, so let's begin. Feel free to join us, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and gently close our eyes. And just start out by taking a few deep breaths. And just noticing kind of how the body feels right now in this moment. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to bring to mind someone in our life who we love and care for dearly. So it could be a family member, like your mom, your dad, sister, brother. It could be a pet, so if you have a dog, a cat, or a goldfish, just bring this person or this pet to mind and imagine them doing something that makes them really happy. Just one of their favorite hobbies. 
So now what we're going to do is we're gonna repeat some phrases in our head and we're gonna send them thoughts of loving kindness. And as we do this, just imagine that they're instantly receiving these thoughts, like they're a text message, all right? So with this person or this pet in mind, we'll send them these thoughts. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you be loved. And just imagine them getting happier and happier. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be loved. And now notice how your body feels when you send these thoughts of loving kindness. So now what we're gonna do, bring to mind somebody from your class, not your best friend, not someone that you don't get along with, but maybe somebody in your class who you don't talk to very often. They're just, you know, in your class. And now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna send them these same thoughts. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be loved. And again, just imagine them getting happier as you send these thoughts. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be loved. All right, now let's, let's expand this just a little bit. So now let's bring our entire classroom into mind. All right, let's imagine that as we send them these thoughts, everybody in the classroom gets these thoughts and feelings of loving kindness. And we'll even include ourselves in this. May we be happy, may we be healthy, May we be loved. And each time you send these thoughts, just everybody in your class is just getting a little bit happier. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be loved. All right, now let's extend it out even further. Let's imagine the entire school, your entire school, we're gonna send them loving kindness thoughts. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be loved. And just notice how your body feels right now, just sending these kind thoughts. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be loved. And we can come back to this anytime and we can expand it even further to our neighborhood, to our city, to our state, to our country. We can send these thoughts to everybody in the world. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be loved. And now let's just take a few moments and bring our attention to our breath and our body and just notice how we feel in this moment. All right, we'll end this meditation by taking a deep breath in and gently opening our eyes. All right, I feel good. How do you feel? Great. You feel pretty good? All right, so let me ask you. So when we first started and I asked you to bring to mind a, a family member or a pet, who did you bring to mind? Carson. Carson, who's Carson? Uh, my baby brother. Okay, and you thought of him doing something that makes him happy. What uh -huh. What does Carson do that makes him happy? 
uh, the only thing that I could really think of was him playing with his new Play-Doh, like, kitchen mm. thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, his son, his little brother has, like, a pretty sweet, sweet kitchen set, you know? Um, but, but yeah, uh, was it hard? Was it difficult at all? No. No? Did your mind, like, start bouncing around anywhere? Were you able to keep it kind of tuned in? I was able to keep it tuned in. All right. Well, I'm sitting here with a professional meditator, folks. No, but in all seriousness, um, it's completely normal if your mind starts to wander and stray and, like, oh, I want to get up and go play video games or with my toys, things like that. Very, very normal. And if that does happen, we just gently bring it back to the meditation, okay? Um, but anyways... Like I said, this is something that's so, so simple that you can do and you will gradually see your child just start to grow a little bit more compassion and a little bit more connection with other people just all around in their lives, you know what I mean? So I want you all to do me a favor. Leave a comment down below, let me know how it went for you, but please, 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 do us a favor, do me a favor, do Dylan a favor. Share this, share this with somebody. If you're a kid, share it with your friends. If you're a parent, share it with your parent friends. If you are neither a kid and not a parent, just share it on your Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, because I know you know some parents out there, all right? So make sure that you share this video. But again, again, Dylan, don't you have a channel? Yeah. Yeah, what's that called? Dylan and Dad, it's where me and my dad do gaming, theories, and... Movies? Lego building. We're gonna do some movies. Uh huh. We did Black Panther. Black Panther. Right? Yeah. And, and Legos and stuff. And make sure you go check out that channel because we're gonna do a whole, a whole tour of all of Dylan's Legos. So you don't wanna miss that. I will link it at the end of this video. Okay? But tell everybody thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to both channels. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, but yeah, make sure you subscribe and you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there if you want to check out some more videos. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.